Good morning. Today I'm going to read my latest book that was published. And it's a book that I love, and I really began writing it 50 years ago when I saw what was happening. And the book is called Destination Moon. And let me tell you why I'm reading it on a tablet instead of in a hardcover or a paperback. The truth is, in these days, I carry around a bunch of books in the back of the car. And every time I see a kid who needs a book, I give them one of my books. And I gave away all of my copies of Destination Moon. So I'm going to read Destination Moon, or leave part of it, from this iPad. Uh, it's a tablet, and it's also available, the book is available digitally, as well as hardcover or paperback. Well, let me read the dedication to the book first. It's to the many men and women who worked on the Apollo moon program a half century ago. And I'm going to read the author's note, which I usually don't read, but this author's note is important in the book. It was a warm evening on July 20th, 1969, when our family gathered together in front of the one television set we had in our house to watch what we all called the moon landing. I remember that night very well. Apollo 11 had been launched four days earlier from Cape Kennedy, and the Eagle, the Apollo lunar module, had set down on the lunar surface only a few hours ago. We were now breathlessly watching for the next act in the drama. A human being was going to leave the spaceship and walk onto the surface of the moon. Half a billion people watched the, around the world watched a fuzzy black and white scene from a quarter of a million miles away. My two kids, Robert and Michael, cheered as Neil Armstrong climbed down the ladder of the eagle and stepped out onto the surface of the moon. Later, we saw videos of the huge outburst of cheering from the scientists and technicians at NASA's control room back on Earth. Just as I was thrilled to witness firsthand that milestone in human history years ago, I'm excited to share this incredible story with today's readers. The book is about history as much as it is about science. Dig in and experience a triumph of human accomplishment and witness the first time a human being ever walked on the moon. And the story begins with the former president of the United States, Kennedy, speaking to a huge audience. On September 12, 1962, the United States President John F. Kennedy delivered a stirring speech to thousands of spectators at the football stadium at Rice University in Houston, Texas. Here is part of what he said. We choose to go to the moon, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important to the long range exploration of space and none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. Kennedy's speech propelled the United States into a space race with the Soviet Union to be the first country to land a man on the moon.